This is the last video of year three of the restoration of Lancaster NX611 Lincolnshire Aviation Heritage Centre at East Kirkby in the UK. Year four of the restoration starts on the 6th of November 2020. This may be my last visit to the centre till the new year as lockdown has started for another month and will end round about the 4th of December. I know the centre is not going to reopen to the public until after the new year. I believe the engineers will be working and any restoration and servicing of the Lancaster will continue right up to uh, Christmas break. The wing tips. Unfortunately folks that's the only game in town. So this video is once again of the fitting of the wingtips leading edge. I also, when the one I left on Tuesday, I left a video camera for Kev, Keith, Brad, John, Les, anybody who wants to use it can use it on any part of restoration of the Lancaster or the winter service of the Lancaster. I hope to go back before Christmas time to pick it up to see if anything has been put on. That's if the lads can remember to take anything. So it's the wingtips. This is the starboard wingtip Keith is restoring. Looks so like he's got a bit of problem with the skins halfway down the leading edge. He's got them all countersunk. Ports I've been restored by Kev as Scotty's completely off. So we'll have to find out what's happening with that. They're a large counter some con they underneath, are they? Yeah, three sixteen rivets on the bottom. All the way. Oh. <coughs> three sixteen blind rivets. Yeah. And these are what? Eight, One eight. Eight solid rivets like they are at the bottom. Yeah. Be further on than I thought you'd be the way you was talking last week. That's the way it goes, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it went quite well. Just oh. trying to get rid of this pant now. Out the skin. Yeah. By putting the packer in there. See, so by redu releasing it, it's reduced it along there. So pack it out and pull it tight again, it might get rid of this. Yeah. If not, I have to put some planting angles in. Where will you put the padding angles? Down here then, there's a more of... Yeah, one up there and one down there. Just have to try them in position and pull the pushy angle in and see what it, effect yeah. it has. You couldn't get that by crimping it then, at the edge. Shrinking it? No. 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 It's, a, it's actually in the, in the material itself. It's because it's rolled, it's shaped that way and it's shaped that way. Yeah. And that way, if you know what I mean. Yes. Yeah. So yeah. It's, and what it is, is it's just got the material there that's got nowhere to go. Yeah. 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 It looks good though, neat up there. Yeah, it's, it's, it's came in a, uh, all the edges chamfered and then I, I turned the edge of it very slightly. Yeah. So it's got a slight curve in. So when it meets up, it actually pushes down and then pulls up, so it keeps it nice and tight. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. There's some rivets in there. Okay. You, there's some rivets in it when you look down the bottom. Oh yeah. That's nothing to compare to what the wing will be. Yeah, yeah. That'll be interesting to see those um, plug rivets once you once you drive them in you know it's gone in if it's gone flush yeah because it must have expanded 
Because yeah. the material's got nowhere to go. No. So it must expand so into the thread. It yeah. It's, it's just it's just getting them cooked to the right thing so they're nice and soft. Yeah. And as you bang them in and you go brunt yeah. on the gun like that and they squish inside. Yeah. Oh, good. Oh, thank you. That's all right. I'm just going to put the chamfer Oh, in you've got your, there's yours underneath here, isn't it? Yeah, it's going to start chamfering it now. I'm counting the sun up one, up one side. These are the, they're the eight this ones. is the top, yeah. Yeah, the top. And I've got the other ones to do, but I'm just going to put, put my chamfer on and what have you before I start. Yeah. Counting the sink in it, I'm over here. So, so I've got my, got my line there just to uh, start counting yeah. the sink. Will you do that by hand with a file? Yeah, I'm just going to do that now, yeah. Just, yeah. Uh, just go along and do it. Just clamp it on the. You clamp it, or don't you bother? It's yeah, can get some. Uh, can get some room on you. <laughs> How did you go on when you were saying these holes are getting close to? The yeah, well, the, the, we still got the landing. Yeah. So we're okay. I see you've got for an eighth hole, you get a quarter landing. So you, you, we've still got the landing there. Yeah. So uh, it should be okay. Good. But well, Bob's okay anyway, so oh. we're, uh, we're okay with that. Yeah. Oh, good. Yeah, get a clamp and uh, yeah. sort that out. And then you've got the counter sinker, maybe. Yeah, so we've ended up putting um, like doublers. I've got a key to go on there. Sorry? We've ended up putting like a doubler in here, you know, to take the. That's why we've took a bit more time. These have all got a doubler on the inside of them now. Oh, have they? Yeah, like a small plate. Oh, I feel it, yes. Yeah, we've riveted them. Like, tack riveted them on. Yeah. Three places. And uh, that's just so that the... When the count, when the uh, pop rivet pulls through, they're quite a heavy 316th uh, rivet. Mm. So, so they don't pull right through this skin, because that's quite feeble, quite thin is that skin. Yeah. So it doesn't pull right through. We've got a... Yeah extra thickness on there to yeah. are you doing that. it down there where you did the um this should be so bad because this is quite this is very yeah. thick skin so this one should be okay we're just going to uh, open them out 316 yeah. and put them through yeah. but i so said that that skin there though it's very thin so we've it's uh, thinner than this bottom skin is it was it the same it's it's the same but uh, but most of the the current seems taken up by this this one yeah which is a lot more solid yeah. so and you're going all the way to the top, putting that turn packer in, are you? Yeah, we've got a packer there, there's one one there, sort of riveted on. Yeah. And there's a third one up there. Yeah. Oh. So, that's, that's purely simple because it's, it's a 316 pop rivet and it's, uh, so they're quite, they're quite tough. I don't know it shows up on this, or not. You can I just see, tell. there is just a gap there, you can, yeah. it will pull away just a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. It's only about the same thickness. Yeah. It's a 40, 40 thou packer is. Yeah. Uh. The light's not Kevin. too good on Kev's side uh, for the video camera, so I've gone across to Keith's, the starboard wingtip, uh, where the light is a lot better and you can see the packer running down the from top to to the middle. So all we're going to do is put a little, what we call a panting angle. It's just like an L-shaped piece yeah. on the back inside here. And all that will do is that last little bit, that will take that out. Oh, it will, won't it? And that rivet there, it must like to pull the... Yeah, once it's, it's riveted up, that will all pull down. Yeah. Can you push, let your finger go off again? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Surprising, isn't it? Just a it is, isn't it? 40 thou piece of metal just along that frame there. Because yeah. the skin wanted to come out. What it is, a new, the new stringer that's in there obviously is too straight. Oh, I see, yeah, yeah. So it's once old, it was released, it? the skin did that, yeah, moved away, and a lot of the kind of rippling when, when you pulled it into the packing strip, yeah. Oh. So that's excellent. Well done, sir. So it looks, 
Looks a lot better anyway. Yeah. Yeah, it looked a bit of a mess, didn't it? Yeah, surprising. It's just a, just the ripper where the material's got nowhere to go. It wants to go somewhere and yeah. you're trying to stop it. Yeah. Oh, good. And you've taken this skin off this side, you've been? Yeah. That's off now. Why are you taking that off? Because this has all got to be uh, oh, it has, riveted yeah. on. Yeah, of course it has. Yeah. That, that's solid the last thing that's going to go on. Yeah. Because these yeah. are all in with solids. Yeah. All this. It's only that last row and these skins are all done with pop rivets. Yeah. Hi. I'd just like to say these are not official videos of the centre of the Lincolnshire Aviation Heritage Centre, the videos I've put together um, on the restoration. I'd like to thank all the staff, the firemen, the engineers, and for allowing me to video them while they've been working. And especially Keith and Kev over the last few months being patient with me when I didn't quite understand. And the management for allowing me to upload these videos onto YouTube. The next videos I do on the restoration will be of year four. So I'm not sure when they will be doing. Depends on COVID and when I can get to East Kirby again. Cheers for now and thanks for watching.